Alright. Hello ladies and gentlemen. This is a video I made bleh, a video I am making about the new pixelings released or leaked by the de developers on the live stream made by LP. Which was I don't remember when it was, but it was a while ago. The leaks were posted in spoiler chat at September 10th. And spoiler bleh, spoiler warning. For this entire video, so if you don't want to see the new pixelings, you don't want to know anything about them, just click off, but we're going to be going into them, and what my opinions on them, and what I think the stats should be. All the cards made in this video were made by Coopers, so shout out to that guy, he's really cool. He did all the work for making all the cards, so I can visually show you guys what I think the stats should be. So, we're going to start left to right on the pixelings that were shown in the screenshot. Meaning we're gonna start first with Water Sheep. So Water Sheep is a ranged support mythic, and that is all we know from starters. Uh, so what I decided to do for Water Sheep is to give him stats similar to Anana, but I have a little bit less health, a little bit more damage, and I gave him Sabo Immunity and Vampire. And I also gave him a 3 charge cure others. So the idea was that we wanted a cure pixeling, a pixeling that could cure other pixelings. So I gave it to this water sheep, made it 3 charge, it could be 2, it could be 4, I just chose 3. You can disagree in the comments, but it's cure others because I gave water sheep uh, sabo immunity so it doesn't have ever have to worry about curing itself, right, because it's sabo immune. And also, since it's range, you don't want to worry about placements on the field, like cure middle or cure back. I just had it cure others, that way you can still swap and hit your, the target you want. That's really, really good. And Vampire should just be good because it has a little bit more damage in Anana, so it'll get more HP back, which will make up for the fact that it has a little bit less HP and doesn't have Shrouded. So I think it should have a pretty long survivability and just be pretty good overall. I think a lot of people would use them. You could like Sorty Boost. Water Sheep, run it with Vlad so that way you can't stun spam Vlad. You can just energize and then cure when they don't expect it. And do all kinds of stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> next one is Baxter. Or, yeah, that's how you pronounce it. Baxter is a rare troll assassin. And I decided to give him so pretty, very, very low health but high damage, similar to an assassin, you know. And I gave him Bloodlust and a 3 charge heavy attack. Um, the reason why I did that was because I was like, okay, Baxter, people are going to use him a lot. He's the first rare troll assassin, right? Which is what we needed. That's the one pixeling, well, one of many, one of few that we wanted in the game. So now that we have it, it's going to be Bloodlust, hopefully. Which means when you get that heavy attack off, you get a kill, it'll just buff up, be even stronger. But it's got pretty low health, meaning if you take it out, it should you can take, be able to take it out pretty easily. Meaning a lot of people might run it with Sorty, a lot of people might run it with like Sophia or Agava to keep it alive, maybe Anana. You can see a lot of stuff there, maybe you ran with Gilly. So you can see a lot of cool stuff being done with that, and I could see Baxter being highly, highly used with these kind of stats, which you can see right here. <clears throat> so next one is Big Brain, and first of all, I don't like the name. <laughs> it's not my decision, I feel like the name is just two on the dot. I feel like they should like maybe like make it into a pun or something. That's just me, but he's a ranged assassin and people are gonna hate what I did to him, but he is a bloodlust spell immune with a two charge heavy attack. The heavy attack isn't gonna be like powerful like Gusto's, it'll be weaker obviously, more like Saris level. Um but it's bloodlust spell immune meaning like, you can't, like, energize him, you can't heal him up, so he's got low health, kind of like Naza. In fact, I think it's the same health as Naza. I Meaning, you should be able to take him out if you're able to. But if you run with, like, Sophie, you can bubble, which would be annoying. And if he gets a kill, he'll just be even stronger. And he'll just be doing tons and tons of damage with the heavy attacks. Or, if you take him out really quickly, because he got low health, it'll be good. But since he's not, since he's spell immune, you can't, like, bubble spam, you can't heal spam, you can't energize. But it also means he doesn't have to fear stun spam or inferno. Which I think really makes him balanced and I think this would be a pretty pretty fun addition. I feel like he'd be one spell immune I wouldn't mind using, to be honest. And the next one, Martha, 
So, <clears throat> originally I was going to put Marsa with, what was it, Berserk? Because we don't have a tank, tankish kind of support, because I gave Marsa tankish like health. In fact, I think it's just sorty stats, but a little bit lowered on both fields. Originally I was going to give him Berserk, or her Berserk, because I would just be weird, you know, because tanks are often at low health, you kind of want them having lower health, and they'll just be doing more damage. But then I realized a lot of community members were like, oh, we need more rare. Uh, mana Catalyst. I was like, let's give Martha ma Mana Catalyst. That way, Sophia won't be used as much, you know, because Sophia is the only rare Mana Cat. So if you want Mana Cat and you're not using either a Nan or a Roxy, you gotta use Sophia. But if we give it to Martha, then we'll have another Mana Cat. And the charge, I haven't even talked about the charge yet, it's just a two charge cure Sabod, which means it will cure any sabotaged, or well, only one sabotaged pixeling on the field. And the way it'll work is it'll prioritize curing stun over curing poison. If there's two, like it's one stun, one poison. But if there's one with two sabotage, like it's stun and poisoned, it'll prioritize that one. And if there's none, it'll just be like cure heal. Because it, it'll both have heal, like Water Sheep and Martha's cure spells. Not cure spells. It'll be like a cure spell. It'll do a little bit of healing. It'll cure. So it'll just heal lowest by a tiny little bit. And then the final one. The final, the most controversial on my end, is Ulabrita. And Ulabrita, as you can see, is a troll assassin. But the thing is, I, along with a lot of other members in the community, are like, no, 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 no. We don't want Ulabrita to be a troll assassin. We want Ulabrita to be melee. But, like, the reason why we want it to be melee is because we don't have a lot of melee mystics. We got what? Marzia, right? I mean, good. Marzia is a good tank buster. You got. Uh, Comet. Comet's a pretty beefy tank, and a Gava. Kind of gimmicky support kind of thing. But that's it. We got like five, gonna be like six troll, like four or five, I don't actually know how many. We have a lot of troll mythics and even more range. But we don't have a lot of melee. And so the reason why I decided to make Ula Breathe the melee is for that factor alone. And also because we want another, well, I want another tank buster me tank buster mythic. For the stats I gave Uabrita, um, I gave Uabrita pretty good health, like, and it's a lot of health, and I gave him also pretty good damage. Well, I lowered the health a little bit, like, afterwards, so the current health that I would actually want on him would be 1,942, not the 2,100 that you see on screen, or whatever it is right now. That's a little bit ridiculous, but 1,942, that's still a ton for Assassin. And his damage is good. And I gave him the passive shield break and sabo immune. I think that's perfect for a tank buster. Because one, you can't be like poisoned, you can't be like stun spammed, which is great. You can't be drained either. It's just very, very convenient to have. But also shield break, meaning you can't just shield block the attacks. The reason why Gava is just has such a good matchup against Marzia is because Marzia's melee, you're gonna couple Marzia with more melees to do more melee damage, but as you're hitting a Gavi, you're just getting more bubbles and all of your strong heavy attacks from Shannon, Marzia, or maybe just a hard hitting hit from Sven are just getting blocked by shields while they just let the tank hit a Gavi to get more and more bubbles. It's just ridiculous. But with Ulabrita, Ulabrita won't have the same weakness. Ulabrita will just be able to just hit right through the shield. It'll have a great matchup against a Gava, against Sophia against like bubble spam, it'll just be much better pixeling because of it. And it'll give us the first, the true shield break tank buster assassin we want. Because Cobra really doesn't fill that role, I mean come on. And for the charge, I just did a three charge strength and self 50%, kinda like Roxy. It's just to power her up power her up, him up, I don't actually know, but it's just to make Ulabrita a little bit stronger because you're not running with Bloodlust, Marzia has Bloodlust, and if you're doing a 3 charge strength and self 50%, you don't need Sorty. It's not a heavy attack, so you can't like Sorty boost, because it's just going to eventually boost, and you can run it with other things instead. Maybe Martha, Sophia, Shannon, that kind of stuff. So yeah, that's my opinion on all the, the new Mythics. They're all new Mythics and Rares. That's the stats I would give them if I were out of mind myself. I wonder what Outer Minds himself will put on them. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully, they're going to be fine. 
and fun, and none of them are going to be terrible, none of them are going to be busted. That's just all I hope. But either way, I'm excited for these new Mythics and Rares. It's going to be great. I think they're launched, they're planning to be launched October, mid-October, as limited, so fair warning, save your chests, your warges, your giant chests, save them, keep them in storage, buy those chest slots, that's a lot of stuff you need to do. And then hopefully you can pull these, because you won't be able to buy them in shop, you won't be able to uh, get them maybe from season rewards, I don't even know if they'll be out for that long, I don't know how it's going to work. But apparently, according to Soul Slurpee, uh, it's going to be uh, chest only, so look up for that. And that's all I have. Subscribe, yay, ba ba da ba 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 da ba Woo! <laughs>